We're here in the ultralight area of Air Venture Oshkosh, my favorite area. And we're going to look at an airplane we've looked at before, but it's got a different engine on the front of it now. I'm talking to Elena Lewis, and you're going to tell me some things about this airplane. Okay. Is that correct? Okay. That's correct. So we know this is the swing wing because the whole wing, the entire wing, doesn't fold back this way. It twists like a, like a scissors, does it? It pivots. Yes, it does. Okay. And so this kept all those qualities, but I see a different engine. I see some what looked like cartoon tires to me. They looked like something out of, uh, what was that Disney movie, uh, the the, uh, the one where they fly around with the big fat tires on things. Planes, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. super planes. So let's talk about uh, tires first of all. These are okay. not your typical Tundra tires, Elena. What's, what's the story with these? Um, these are actually, I think they're made for beach carts, and um, but they fit our application and they actually added three pounds a piece to our airframe. So, um, we like the, the bush plane look of it. Um, Dad wanted to be a 103 legal bush type looking aircraft. So that's what we went for and we made it. We're actually eight pounds underweight. <laughs> Is that right? um, and we did that by using this hearth engine. Um, it gave us about 30 pounds of play. Um, now you normally use the Generac in all the ones I've looked at before. Yeah. It's a nice engine, but it's kind of big and heavy looking. Right, right. It's um, it's quite a bit heavier. Um, so we went with the heart this time around and it gave us the weight savings that we needed and we actually came in eight pounds under. Eight pounds under. That's kind of oh, a well, remarkable thing. Right, But right. let's talk a little bit about how the airplane is built and then we'll come back again and review the engine. This is an aluminum airplane, but it looks like it's got a lot of welding in it. There's a lot of welds on here. My husband does all the welds. It's a very good job, but it's very time consuming. It is so, yeah, and you're doing all this right there in uh, Missouri, right? Yep, yep, so, Missouri. Yep, and uh, so this is an all airplane built right there. You're not buying stuff from other places. No, no, every, Except every engine, piece is cut and it's all done right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what made you went to this engine because it's lighter, uh, but what kind of power does this offer us? Well, we're running an F23 and it's 50 horsepower. Okay, 50 horsepower. Does it have electric start? Yes, it does. Okay, so, and all of that, and you're still underweight. Yes. By quite a bit. Yeah. So, and I see you've got a parachute on it as well. I'm looking over your shoulder there. I can see that back there. I always Every like that. One. So, is that right? Everyone's Every got a single one. Yeah. Good for you. I'm. Uh, so when you fly with these cartoon tires on it, um, does the airplane uh, handle rough conditions better? Um. Yeah, we haven't exactly tested it on that yet, but we believe it will. It seems to roll better when we're pushing it out on the field, for sure. <laughs> and somebody said that uh, when they were observing the typical balloon or Tundra tires, balloon tires, whatever you want to call them, they kind of lean a lot. I'm told these don't do that so much. Not that, not that we've seen yet. <laughs> right. Haven't fully tested it yet. Well, we got Grandpa here in the picture now. Yeah. So. Welcome. How are you doing there? Good to see you again. Oh, you have indeed been here a lot of times, and uh, the original creator of the airplane, is that correct? Yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> yeah, we uh, started building the two, actually we started in with the two place trainers way back when we had the ultra exemption, you know, from the US, UA, and so forth. And uh, then after the condition continued that, of course, we were limited to the single place. But um, I, I guess I started building them because uh, after my crop dust, after my quadruple heart pass, got bypassed, I had to quit my crop dusting, or it's a lot easier to not fight them for the medical. Yeah, well, it costs a lot of money, and you may or may not get it. So, that was uh, it. Yeah, so they, once you it, got past it once, you want to just draw away and go it, fly one it of was these. Going, it was going to uh, cost too much. I'd already crop dusted 21 years. And Surviving 21 years of crop dusting is uh, quite a feather in your cap there, too. <laughs> they, so. uh, they, you better put it while you can. You know. Well, I'm glad you, I'm kind of glad you did because that meant you put your attention into this. Yeah. This is an airplane here that a lot of people can go have some fun with. And so, uh, Elena, I was going to ask you earlier, uh, we, we say that, look, uh, folks, prices change. These videos last a long time, so we're going to give a web address later, which we'll put up on the screen for everybody. But get us in the ballpark with the hearth engine and the cartoon tires and the parachute. What kind of price point are we at on this aircraft? At uh, 26000 ready to fly, just as you see it. Just as you see it here. So yeah. 
again, we, I love to say this because for people that are complaining about the high price of airplanes, and in many cases they have become pretty expensive, uh -huh. very capable and nice airplanes at those higher price points, but not everybody can afford that. Right. So thanks to your family operation, you're keeping it lean and mean. $26,000, again, that's today. We'll have them check with you later. <laughs> but uh, the airplane, uh, let's talk a little bit about how it flies. Uh, the flight characteristics of the airplane, how would you describe those? Well, I can't do it right now, so just tell us about how you think it flies. You, you're welcome to if you want to. Thank you. You, you. You've flown a lot of different planes. More than I can remember, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, And Thank I'll you. take you up on that, but you tell us for now how it flies. Well, it's, it's, I can say it's nearly perfectly balanced for its longitudinal latitude. It just does everything like it's supposed to do. So, for somebody who's new to flying and says, hey, I can afford that, but... I'm not sure how how good a pilot I am. Can well, they get in this and, and, and be? Is it good for a beginner? Is what I'm trying to say. If you get some trail tail dragger training, yes. Uh, of course, you know this is a tail dragger, and uh, like all tail draggers, they don't like to go straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, they kind of want to get the tail around the front, but yeah, yeah. so the expression is usually happy feet. Keep your uh, rudder pedals moving, keep it centered all I, the time, I, and you have no problem. I'd say it. Uh, it in that respect, as far as runway handling, it's just a, a, just a normal, like a cub or something. Sure, it'll turn around if you don't stay stay on the, on your rudder pedals. And stay busy with your feet. Happy feet. There we go. So. Oh yeah, that's a happy <laughs> so, feet. So, so talk to us a little bit about uh, performance numbers, uh, the uh, uh, the climb rate with this 50 horsepower engine on a lightweight aircraft like this is going to make it perform really well, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Talk to me about climb rate and cruise speeds. We haven't we haven't measured any of that. Uh, well, tell me what you expect then. You got a lot of experience with these airplanes. The cruise speed would be whatever you want, about up to 60. You can't go faster than 63 right. miles an hour, All right? No, 103. We can, we can take care of that with the propeller ditch, the belt drive reduction ratio, and we have a. This has a red line. Red line. It's got a red line. On okay, it. right. And between those three, well, we can we can keep it within the legal limits. So how long is the takeoff roll? With this engine, I'm guessing you're off the ground pretty quick. Here to the road there. Here to the road. So uh, looking over my shoulder, that's that's like 50 feet or something. Yeah. Is that right? It pops into the air that quick? Yeah. Um, Mike um, was flying it this morning. You know him, make peace. Sure, right. He was flying it. PT was flying it, Sam. And uh, they're both lighter than, my, than I am. So <laughs> they were getting off really, really short. Really short. So it's a it's a so it's a backyard flyer, is it? Yeah. I mean that's kind of how where the name comes from, I'm guessing. So. It, it, yeah, someone woke up and said, "Well, let's, let's fly that out the backyard." And that's how it. That's how it <laughs> Okay. Well, a lot of fun telling us about the airplane. Thank you both for doing that. Uh, for folks that want more information about the backyard flyer, where do we send them on the web? And we'll put it up on the screen so everybody can read it. Um, Coldprops.com is our website, and uh, it has all of our information on it. It's pretty simple. <laughs> okay, very good. Lots more about all the airplanes that have come out of this family operation. You can find that and lots more affordable aviation on ByDanJohnson.com. Thanks for joining Elena, Grandpa, and myself here at AirVenture Oshkosh in the ultralight area.